What's up YouTube, it's Cornish Ratbeard here and we are back with a brand new video on a brand new patch for Star Trek New Horizons. This is the long awaited patch 3.3.4 which brings us bang up to date with the latest Solaris base game update. This patch will see us cross over to all the cool features of the base game which now relies heavily on the Unity. We also see a really cool feature added which is called the Cannon Wars mode. If you enjoy more lore based wars from the TV shows then this is definitely something you might be interested in. Now it's a feature that can be turned on or off so some of the wars that are included are the Dominion War for the Alpha Quadrant, the Klingon Federation War, the Cardassian Border Wars and the Marquis Fight for Freedom. There are a few others as well so check that out for sure. There's loads and loads of new balance tweaks, there's new heroes added, so much more. I'll link the patch notes in the description for a further look if you should so desire. Now, I thought if we wanted to have a look at this new patch, then I think that the United Earth will be the best option for us to explore at least the early part of the game while checking out all the new features. I'm not so sure if this will turn into a full playthrough, so let me know if you would like to see more or not. And uh, don't forget to check out the Discord where you will find me and Jamie Plays along with many others hanging out. Link is in the description. I would also like to give out a huge, huge shout out and credit to the whole entire Star Trek New Horizons team for developing such a cool mod for us Trekkie fans. Awesome stuff. So, as usual guys, this is played on Grand Admiral as always, so let's get started and see what this patch is all about. Alright, so I have got the Federation UI on, so uh, just to give it that extra little touch, I thought that would be quite good. Uh, this is just the usual stuff, uh, looks pretty good. I think the UI is looking a little bit more jazzy if you ask me, just having a look at it right now. Um, I'm kind of liking it, I'm digging it quite a lot right now. So let's push begin and let's see what pops up here. We have the classic what's new in Star Trek New Horizons, there's a lot of stuff there. Um, we understand that we want to do the recommended default 100% of empires. So that means that everybody's involved in this playthrough. We have an encounter that's going to be always happening at the moment with the first contacts. There are so many different factions and empires in this mod, it's unreal. If you guys are checking this mod out for the first time, then I'm going to try to give you a little run through of certain things. So um, let's. this is our system at the moment. Here we are, we got Earth, it's all looking really, really nice. We got our huge star base, which is probably, yeah, star base one, which, um, which was our very first one that the, the United Earth built. It's massive guys, honestly, if you think that the ships are big, then this thing is absolutely huge. In canon, obviously, this thing is just huge. So, um, yep, there's the rest of it. We got Mars here somewhere. There we go, over here. That's a good little planet. It is completely buildable upon it, so um, it is completely usable there. As well as Earth, we start with both of them there. That's all still the usual thing. So, zooming out here we have the galaxy. It is our spiral galaxy. It is the Milky Way as you see it. Um, let me tell you, it is packed. Again, it is absolutely rammed with different empires and factions all over the place. In the base game, you usually get, you know, nine, ten or so on a single map galaxy this big. But oh, in this one, it's there everywhere, which is really, really cool because things are happening all the time. Different things are developing. And I just really, really love the feel of or that type of game where it's kind of a sandboxy game where just things just keep on happening you know one one empire is taking another while you don't even know about it sometimes you might not even meet some of these empires here it's just things are just happening all the time the ai is forever evolving and it's really cool so um yeah this is basically the first look at it um for you guys if you are new to it i'm trying i'm trying to um just show it off for anyone new as well but anyway, let's get into it as well. So I'm going to just kind of play it how I would normally play it. And we're just going to see what's different as it sort of comes, if you get what I'm saying. We're not going to go looking for it. So our empire size is going to be a big born in our side now, guys. So the more that we expand, the more negatives that's going to give on our empire. There's not a lot you can do about it. There is certain things you can get that will help a little bit. But you're going to just kind of have to, you know, take this one on the chin a little bit here. Um, our unity so obviously that is the biggest thing now the unity so we have our influence that's still going to be quite big but the main thing here is going to be the unity um, which is here so it's a different symbol now from obviously the um, the base game 
So yeah, this is going to be where we're going to be buying all of our um, leaders and stuff like that from. They cost upkeep, as you can see. Look, one upkeep is for energy, and one upkeep there is for unity, um, and many other things. Trust me, it's going to be a big one now. So this is probably our main currency, along with the energy. Still, I would say that these two is the main um, currency here. If I was going to be honest, I would probably say that the unity is mm, maybe the energy is probably the most important one still. I don't know because. I'll probably say unity now, then energy, then probably our alloys because the ship still and then the influence. The rest of it is kind of, you know, meh. you kind of get it, you buy it, you sell it. It's OK. So um, let's see what we want to do now. For those of you that don't know as well, we do have a little event that pops up somewhere around here. I think it's this one. I know it's a binary system. And it's Terra Nova. If you you may be aware from the shows that in the Enterprise, they do come across a system and a planet within it, which does house some humans. And if you can get on the right side of them, you can get yourselves an early colony here, guys. Really early. So let's get a science ship straight down here to what I believe is the system we're looking for. Um, every time you respawn a map, they are slightly different. They are in slightly different positions and places. So that might not look like, you know, my one on your one. But do look out for a binary system, which I believe is below another binary system. And I think that's the one there in this playthrough. I don't know. I haven't checked. Uh, construction ship. Well, we're going to go for this physics research here, I think. As we can see, it's um, it's not been, it's not been uh, gobbled up yet by us, but it will be. Earth, we do have, it's all it's all different, the UI is a lot more stretched out, a lot more crisper now. It looks like I've got a new monitor, if I'm honest, like a new resolution. It's really, really nice. Um, so I don't think we're going to want to buy get anything for our planets right now. So that's cool. Um, same with Mars. You know, have a look up here, see our crime is 2, uh, up here our crime is 10, so... Probably looking at a police station as one of the first buildings, in my opinion. Maybe heroic landmark because of the unity. Uh, as well as entertainment systems and stuff, but as you can see, amenities are doing okay. So you want to be checking these numbers out here. Yeah, it's a bit of a little tutorial going on here, but I um, hope you don't mind that. So let's get some research done. Um, colony development speed and migration is going to be really, really helpful early game. Obviously, as a federation, you're going to want to just build up as much as you can peacefully. So let's go for that. Uh, diplomacy or slavery. I'm going to go for this one because I'm going to hit the diplomacy up because obviously we're going to be wanting to make as many friends as possible. And engineering my favorite technology here, which gets us all our decent ships and star bases. Uh, we'll go for the polarized hull plating just to make them a little bit stronger. First contact. We could send an envoy out for that straight away. Um, because we haven't pushed play yet, it doesn't show how many envoys we have. So I'm going to go ahead and push play right now. You kind of get you got to get your base game set up first of all, and then push play. We're going to get some other options come up now. And here is Q. So this is one of the new features now. Q comes up from the start like this. It's a lot better, I think. Really, really good touch. And it gives you the options on what you want to turn on and keep off. So the challenge mode here. Now, if you're playing on Grand Admiral, this is going to give a further boost to the major empires, making it the toughest Star Trek New Horizons experience ever. Now, I'm going to leave that one off for this kind of playthrough just to see the new features. We are playing on Grand Admiral, and that is kind of tough enough. Uh, when I usually play my other, you know, usual playthroughs and stuff, and we do some challenges and things like that, some 10 episode ones, then I would like to put this on. But for now, I'm going to keep that off. Same with the tech slowdown mode. This is a good one if you want to, you know, really use some of your ships, like the Defiant. Say you've just now discovered it. Within what seems like minutes, you're kind of discovering a new ship on top of it. So you didn't really get to use that really awesome dis uh, Defiant. But again, let's just try and get through the technology to see what there is. So we're going to keep it off. Cannon Wars mode. Now, this is the one I was talking to you about at the beginning. I'm going to go with that one. So you kind of click on it and you say switch on the cannon modes. That's awesome. Now, this one here is the U United Federations of Planet Formation mode. Now, if you are not playing as a, the um, United Earth, then it's a good idea to turn this on because it kind of really helps almost guarantees that the um, United Federation of Planets will form 
in your playthrough, like say if you're playing as a Klingons. I've had it where I've played as the Cardassians and they haven't formed. So it can, you know, it's a good thing if they do form, it's kind of funner. So as for that, there we can see it's turned on, I'm going to start the game. So now we can see that we have the free Allow envoys. To introduce myself. Q pops up and I, tries to give you further help. Q. I would definitely Just do this if Q. I was a beginner. Continuum. But at the Trust moment, me, I'm, I'm going to say go away, Q, omnipotent. because Did I don't really need really his help. To start off um, like that? We weren't too hasty. Ah, we go really go don't need your mineral. Important information for you. Um, go away, Q. We don't need your mineral. There we go. Had to say it twice to him because he, he doesn't really like to listen. So as you can see, we got loads of treaties coming in now. This will be because we have already met. We start the game meeting the Tellarites and the Vulcans as the Federation in this new patch. Initiating Usually it's just the Federation that you meet. Uh, sorry, the Federation, the Vulcans. It's just the Vulcans that you normally meet, you know, when you start the game. But now we have met the Tellarites at the same time. So let's just pause it and go through all these treaties. A challenge your preconceptions. We want to do the lot because we want to you. form the Federation ourselves. So we need to be friendly with all of these dudes, if you ask me. For a battle of wits. The Tellarites, okay. yep. research agreement. Has yep. Is this the Tellarites as well. And unimpressive. A logical request. Commercial packs, yes. It's going to hurt like our influence and things like that. I was but looking for a battle of wits. It's worth it with these guys. Your preconceptions, so let's they just yes you. to all of the, te the uh, treaties that they are offering us. Um, our science ship is on its way down there. One thing I want to do is build a new one. So there we go. That's just so we can get to um, Alpha Centauri here. Because there's a couple of planets that we're going to want there, isn't there? So the Vulcans are expanding. This is another reason I wanted to get down to this planet, this system straight away. Because I think the Vulcans are going to end up grabbing that, if Initiating not. They do seem to be a bit bigger than what I remember starting off as a Federation in older patches. Non-aggression, so absolutely. Is it, Let's try and get as friendly as possible, you? even defensive packs and everything with these two. Because we're kind of really weak at the moment. Right, we have our new science ship. Uh, we do have one that we can already recruit, but if we look into our new leaders, we see that we have Jonathan Archer here, and he is a bit of a legend to start with. The surveying speed is massively increased there. He's a scout. He's got the prized beagle, which gives a lot more buffs, and he's heroic, which gives a lot more buffs on top of the rest of them. So we're going to recruit him, and we're going to get him going straight here. If you want, you could recruit him straight away, do what I just did a lot quicker, and then get down to this system, you know, even with, with Jonathan Archer and try to uh, and get that event fired here for your Terra Nova. Because in law, in the Enterprise, it was um, it was Jonathan Archer that did this mission, but it's okay. It works just as good with any scientist. Okay, in my creation, we want that. And we want the extra populations coming over to our planets. That's good. We get the Vulcans do that as well, unless they already have. Now, I'm going to put my construction ship over here ready because I want to grab this system as soon as I can. Looks like we also have a, um, a minor uh, system in here, a minor planet. Let's have a look in here a minute. Let's have a look. Yeah, over here, look. So um, someone's living here on this planet. We're going to uh, establish an outpost there just so we can observe them, learn a little bit about them and uh, hopefully integrate them into our Federation later on down the line. So yes, the encounters. Uh, we want to start putting some envoys out to meet people. Technology discovered. Uh, we want to do the adaptive translator here. Uh, that's going to help us talk and um you know negotiate with different empires out there so this is the one we want we can't do the institute for slave labor anyway because that's just against our policies over here it's just something we don't do we don't do slave labor so let's do that Technology one discovered. new research then we don't need a colony ship anymore it appears that we have already gained that technology upon starting the game we used to have to have that so there's another another thing that's different in this patch but let's go for the modules, the extra components here for the ships. First contact. Okay, good. Is there any other first contact situation log that is? Let's put you on that. We could improve relations with one of these two, but I don't think we really need to do that, if I'm honest. Uh, they're really, really friendly with us as it is. There's going to be defensive packs 
probably any minute now. Initiating communications. Oh, there you go. A logical request. Oh, it's guaranteeing our independence. So the Vulcan High Command views the continued independence of the United Earth as a prerogative. Initiating they, oh, we are prepared to formally devote ourselves to that cause. Let me just have a little else. We got non-aggression pact. Challenge your preconceptions, yeah, we'll for the or they pact. will challenge you. And if they Logic want to guarantee our independence for now, necessary. then that's fine. That's fine. Uh, right. So looking at this, we're probably going to want that policing center, aren't we? The policing system here, and maybe the heroic landmark, just to help. Mars, what can you do for us? Frontier Hospital is definitely something we're going to be looking at getting pretty much in every single planet that we gain. Uh, the entertainment system, the center here, would be good, but I think the housing is what we're going to be needing. As you can see, we're on zero, and this uh, dome city needs to be expanded. So let's do that. In fact, let's look at Earth and see how we're doing there. We're doing really well for everything there. We do have an available job, but that's going to be put into the leasing system here. And then the heroic landmark as well will follow up once we get some more pops there. That's good. We're just waiting for this event to fire here. And in the meantime, we could have a look to see how much unity we're going to need. So in 18 months, we're going to get our first tradition tree here, an opener. And I'm pretty sure I think I know which one that I'm going to go for. We'll wait until then just to have a real look at them all right so we do have a first contact event pending this is what our envoys are doing they are trying to meet the alpha aliens and we're going to prepare a diplomatic envoy for them so let's do that who could it be it might be the andorians um i don't know who else it could be i we'll have to see i think it's going to be the andorians i'm pretty sure it's normally those keep at it so keep on going, keep on trying to figure out who it is that we're going to meet. Science ship now, you know, you could argue that another one would be pretty good. And I think that that is a, a good idea that we get another one. In fact, you know, another one or two, maybe I'm going to go for two. Let's have a look at our star base anyway. Shipyard here, probably going to go for another shipyard. So first contact contact has been established. We have finished the first contact protocols. So hopefully it's going to show us who it is any second. So I think we're going to want to expand our fleet as well. So excellent, clear signal found, ongoing investigation. This will probably be our other one. So let's put that scientist that we had there and let's go off somewhere else and explore. Maybe Bernard's star. Go and grab that one there because it's got a potential planet there. So it's something we're going to want to lay down a star base on an outpost just so it becomes our territory if you're not sure and again you knew then the, con then the construction ship here will basically build an outpost on a fully surveyed system in which this science ship does and when it does build the outpost after surveying Technology discovered. you will notice that our territory will expand around that system there and become our color it essentially becomes ours and nobody anomaly else can take it detected. it's an anomaly this is what our scientists are going to be doing. So we're going to research that. It's a routine one. So for that level, which is Jonathan Archer, it shouldn't be a problem. Sometimes you can like get some real nasty events that will end up killing your scientist. So you want to keep away from those. Right, some new research has been done. Construction complete. That's our star base that's just been completed. The um, shipyard on it. And we have a promising candidate, Hernandez here, which we're going to have a look at in just a moment. We're going to go for the geothermal power station and the solar panels. It can be quite useful. Persian mines or the titanium hull? The tough one, but I'm going to go for the titanium hull. So yes, hang on, let's have a look. Their trust is most welcome. So it seems to be going okay. It looks like the trail. We're going to be meeting the trail. You can have a look down here to see who it is. Attempt to follow the ship. We have an event here. This is that one that we were just talking about. So let's attempt to follow it. Or do we want to wait for them? That is the question. Um, let's attempt to follow. And now let's hail them, because that's just what we do. The security teams repel the borders. Damn it. It's not looking good. Unfortunate. So, um, we've lost a little bit of unity there. But we have gained some 
engineering and some other research there, so that's okay. Technology discovered. All right, let's pause it a second. That's that technology done. The Heritage Museum, that's going to bring some extra unity, I think. So that's something we definitely want. Right, promising candidates. If you go down to your leaders here and admirals, there you go. That's the one we're going to want. She's got two extra skills here. Well, an extra one skill, should I say, compared to the other ones. So it's definitely for the same price, you're going to want to try and get your money's worth, right? So let's go for her and let's put her in command of our fleet and which we're probably going to want to upgrade right now and then look at as well so let's we don't have any other types of ships do we we do have like um the troop transports and stuff but i'm just mainly focusing on our main attack ships and stuff so i'm going to increase the volume of those ships upgraded good so about 15 for now and then reinforce the fleet all right everything's going okay down there Right, this site ship survey complete you're gonna need a oh this is good we have a spark of genius here so research speed plus 10 percent that's brilliant this is definitely the one you're gonna want anytime you see a leader anomaly detected another anomaly there so get him involved anomaly straight away detected all right so things may look a little bit different and that is because um the event for the Terra Nova one here did not fire in the last one. So I've restarted it and it's a good example to show you how the systems are different. As you can see, things are a little bit different, a little bit more spaced out and in just in different positions, you know, generally. So uh, yeah, it didn't fire. So I wanted to show you the event that does fire and that is this one, Terra Nova. So we've sent the exact same scientists down. We've done the exact same things as what we did in the last one um, or just a moment ago. So uh, we're, we're where we were, but for some reason it didn't fire. So I don't know if it's a chance, a random chance that it does or it doesn't fire the event completely. So what it did is the um, scientists just completely surveyed the system and no event fired. This didn't come up at all. So if that does happen in your playthrough, it's completely up to you. But um, I would consider restarting because it's really not that far into the game. If I was going at normal speed a minute ago, but if you just go at fast speed, you'll get to this system in no time to see if the event will fire. If it does, good, carry on. If it doesn't, just restart. Literally takes no more than five minutes of your time. So here we are again, and uh, it's a good tip to let you know that. So if it doesn't fire, just restart if I was you, because you'd want this event. Now, there is a chance that it still won't give you the outcome you want but let's see together and um, go from there so we want to research it okay so Terra Nova was location of the United Earth's first extra solar colonies having received no no communications from the planet in years every effort should be made to determine the fate of the expedition so let's do that let's research that so I'm gonna probably turn it back down to normal speed a moment uh, we have the fleet building up uh, like we did have discovered. new research you might see something we had a minute ago this is a good one the leader cost minus 10 percent. you want to get this one as soon as possible the earlier you get it in the game the more you're going to save so definitely go for this one even if it's the first technology that you get in the game go for it it usually actually is the first technology so um it's definitely one you want to go for now mars what do we have on mars the Frontier Hospital, that's right. Earth, we do have the um, Heroic Landmark. And then I'm going to want the Policing System. So that's ideal. Um, so yeah, this event is going to fire any second now. It's here. So let's see. So Terra Nova. Um, the captain turns to the communication officer and asks to open a channel to the surface. The hails to the Lost Colony are met with silence and there is no reply. Hmm. So some mysteries should be left as mysteries or should we assemble an away team? Well, we definitely want to go and check out what happened to this colony. So let's do that. Let that just go through now. Let's speed it up so we can see what's going to happen. Terra Nova. So uh, Captain's Log Supplemental. The away team shuttle has landed on the surface near the colony. All they have found so far are empty buildings covered in rust and foliage. There are no sign of the weapon fire or any other indication of what happened here. So she orders the away team to the colony's communications relay to pull whatever information that can be accessed. Continue the search then, guys. Honestly, just wait for the blue bar to go up and we're going to get the next event. Um, oh, well, three quarters of the way through it. 
So after hours of searching the ruins and settlements, the captain has detects of a life form on a tricorder pursuing the life sign. She follows it to a nearby cave system. The security officer takes point and proceeds into the opening. Proceeding deeper beneath the surface, both officers are ambushed by the inhabitants of the cave. Scaring back the primitive attackers with warning shots, they head back to the entrance. Moments before the mouth of the cave, uh, the security officer is struck by a flint spear <laughs> and is incapacitated. Uh, well, they narrowly escaped, but who were they? Hmm... So, the next part is the captain arrives back to the shuttle with the remaining members of the away team. Um, she ponders the options available to recover the security officer from the surface. Do they attempt to negotiate or do we prepare an assault? Well, I'll tell you now, the best option here is definitely attempt to negotiate if you want to have any chance of getting this colony as your own really early on. So let's hope, pray, let's pray now that they, uh, they want to negotiate back with us. And reintegrate themselves back into the colony and there we have it. it it's happened as you can see it's already blue the captain and the medical officer head to the surface to help the injured officer locating the entrance to the cavern complex they navigate to a room with humanoids and successfully convince them on their peaceful intentions having been brought to the injured crewman the medical officer is able to affect treatment so after hours of negotiation, the captain is able to convince the Novans, as they call themselves, to trust the crew of the USS Franklin. Working together, both sides are able to help build a new colony on Terra Nova. Excellent. So um, let's pause that. And our Prime Minister has now got some... Oh, what a great trait that is. Extra unity plus 10%. That is something you're going to want in this new patch. Anything to do with that. So yeah, look at this. We have Terra Nova. It fired for us. On the second time round, so this is why it's so important to like restart if you want to. It's such a big tip here, guys, for you beginners. Just just restart and grab it. Look how quickly we have established another colony. With a couple of pops on it as well. Not many, but let's get it going. So Frontier Hospital is definitely the thing we're going to want to pick up straight away because it's going to help with pop growth and, uh, and just in general make that planet just prosper. And we want that to happen as quickly as possible. Do take note of these here. So, so we've got mount, mountainous worlds here, which means that minerals on here are going to be um, a lot better off. So you can build, um, what are they? The mines down here, right? So the mining networks, you build a couple of those, then that's going to go up by 10%. Uh, we also have energy credits as well. So if you build some, some uh, power plants, it's going to be good because you can see that's plus 20. So this is a decent planet. And another plus five on the minerals as well. So really, you want this to be a mining network and fusion reactors, both of them. So they're going to be working down here like big time. So uh, yeah, that's great. So this science ship now can work its way back. See, that's what I like to do. Get straight down there, get that colony up and running and then work their way back up. An outpost has been rebuilt we have once again gained control of this system here so obviously the outpost has been put in orbit around the star which has given us this, these borders here and we want to try to quickly establish our borders so we're not cut off so we want to try to get here and here and hopefully that will join up so any other science ships there we're going to want you know when they're finished doing what they're doing we're going to want to jump down here so traditions here we are we have our first tradition tree Let's open them up. This is all looking much better, guys. Honestly, this is looking fantastic. And look at this as well. Wow, see the kind of resolution on it is, is fantastic. Much, much better. So we have loads here which we can go through. We really do. But I'm going to cut to the chase and basically go for it pretty quick. Now we have ship of the lines here, right? So this is something you're going to want to go for, you know, but down the line a little bit. I forgive the pun, ship of the line, down the line. But um, yeah, you're going to wait a little while. This is something you don't want to go for. Don't be fooled into grabbing it. Yeah, it does give you some decent ship classes and stuff, but don't get it straight away. It will hinder you. Now, the first one that I recommend going for would be Discovery. OK, so um, look, so unlocks an edict map of the stars. So when you adopt it, it's going to unlock an edict, which is map of the stars and the anomaly research speed is increased by 20%. So that is huge. So what you're doing first of all in the game is you're, you're checking out anomalies, you're doing surveying, things like that. 
this tree is going to help with that immensely. Not to mention when you finish it, as it says there, you're going to be getting research speed by 5% increase there. So that's a big one. You want the research as well. So once you grab this one, you're going to be looking at going for a normally discovery chance or the survey speed. I'd probably go for the survey speed, actually, because you want to be grabbing as much territory as possible if you if you get what I'm saying. Uh, there's also monthly unity there, which is improved by 5%. It's just a winner all round. Discovery for the win for me. Some might say Frontier. This is also another good one. It's going to allow you to grab uh, territory quickly by reducing the influence cost of star bases. So outposts and things like that, when you um, build them, it's going to cost you less. And the empire size as well. So if you're expanding quickly, you're not going to get hindered by the technology debuffs because you're expanding your empire. And the star base upkeep from having so many of them. That's a good one as well. But again, I think Dis Discovery is the one. It's the one, guys. This is the way. Okay, so carrying on. It's just kind of, I want to give you guys this first episode. You can, you know, I, I'm not going to be going into the tutorial side of things if we continue this playthrough. Or we could do a different um, empire. It's up to you guys. I just thought episode one here, I would help out as many new players as possible because I was a new player once we all were and there wasn't really much help out there for us. But going into episode two, three, four, five and so on, it will be, you know, full on as I usually do a uh, playthrough. But that's only if you guys want to see more of this one. So on to this event, the mysterious moon of Mars. So now that Mars has been settled for a while, there has been some irregularities in the data, specifically the moon. It does not seem to be made or remotely similar material to Mars. This suggests that it was not formed at the same time, rather originally formed elsewhere and somehow was captured by the gravity of Mars at a later date. Hmm. Okay, so this is curious. So let's see where Long this goes. Update. I don't think I've actually seen this event, so this is quite new to me. So investigate it. I think so. At 31 months, um, I want to see what's going on and why our moon is different. So I'm definitely going to do that. Now, pushing that button there, which investigates this event, does pause the and current research detected. here. Because you can see it's a society, it's using the society here to uh, figure out what's going on. So bear that in mind. If you're looking forward to getting something here or you need it ASAP, then don't do that event here just yet. Wait until you've got the research you want. But if you're not too bothered, then just go for it and pause the um, the technology that you're currently researching. It, it won't hurt too much, it's fine. We have an anomaly here. It is routine for Jonathan Archer, so go ahead and go for that. Construction ship is here ready for when this is surveyed. We are going to establish that outpost. That's going to be awesome. I think I probably... Survey complete. Uh, I was going to say go for another... Oh, the Tellarites are expanding. Um, hmm, I want to go for another science ship maybe, but we've just done that, so maybe we don't need it yet. Uh, who have we got here? Yeah, yeah, that is you probably getting yourself a um, new trait, which enables us... Oh no, this is... Okay, so we've just got to that point. We did already grab her a minute ago, but I've paused a lot, so that's why it seems like... Like, why am I only just getting her now when we already had her? That seemed like ages ago. Uh, yes, so let's get her in there. But I have already started to reinforce our fleet. So let's carry on doing that. Okay, let's carry on. Let's check our planets. Everything seems okay. The crime is coming down here. The Solar Sailor, an interesting... Primitive design. Yeah, this one always was a solar sailor. One of those just casually going through space. It's a bit of a beam off, but um, it's interesting. And this is going to gain us a little bit of research. So, all good. Discovered. Have some new technology. The polarized hull plating. We did get that before. But I want to go for the um, primitive synthetic dilithium manufactory. But Survey this exploit complete. resource is probably good because as we... Um, discover more systems and survey them we might get the chance of finding some dilithium which we're going to want to take full advantage of straight away system surveyed great so maybe we could go and grab try to survey that one as quickly as possible maybe we might need another construction ship actually that's what I will do and go for that detected. yep go for it just checking that one there that's cool um 
The fleet here can be upgraded. Let's do that. So the idea here is to pick up this one and this one as quickly as possible. The construction ship is kind of still waiting on Jonathan Archer, but he does keep getting so many different... Um, what, what does he keep getting? He keeps getting lots of different anomalies coming up. So uh, what have we got here? A crashed ship detected. So let's explore lifting them. We should leave the dead in peace. Unity we get for that. As you can see, you can you can read all this, but if you pop down here, it will show you what you will get out of it. Now, it does issue a special project, crashed alien ship in the gravity well, or we can just take the Unity. I like to see what we're going to get out of it if there's an extra option here. I always do. So um, I want to leave some of these for you guys to read as well, okay? So I'm not going to read them all. So it kind of spoils the fun for you when you play it. But I will read some of them. If we continue this playthrough, I'll read them. But uh, in this episode, you might want to take this episode under your belt and think, right, that's done. Now I'll go and play my own game. I don't want to see any more spoilers, which is kind of cool. You know, that's how I would play it. Get the help and then move on and do it yourself because I'd be well excited to play this game if I'd only just discovered it. Awesome, awesome game. Technology discovered. So these guys are expanding big time, but, you know, they're going to be our friends anyway. There's that colony development speed we, we got in the... the kind of part one of it but um we're gonna get it again because it's a big big help uh yeah so what Ships i would say to upgraded. you a big big tip as well is not to worry about how much they're gaining on you okay if they gain territory don't worry about it even if they do cut us off it's not the end of the world because eventually we're going to form the united federation of planets with these guys and we are going to take all of this territory as our own so it'll all become blue so it's, you know, sometimes I used to think, oh, no, they're getting more than me and I wanted this and I wanted that. And at the end of the day, it all becomes ours anyway. So I relaxed a little Survey bit complete. and just played on. I didn't restart because they cut me off or anything like that. I just Special project I just played on and it became all of ours anyway. So we got the rogue moon base. So astounding. We do get a lot of research out of that, guys. So, uh we're running out of a bit of time here if you'd like to read this and your playthroughs go for it or pause it then that would be real but at the end of the day we've gained some research i just want to see how this pans Survey out here complete oh great so we've now surveyed up here so let's go to the construction ship build the star base it's going to cost us a little bit of influence and some of our alloys here so get that done um you can go over here and uh, i'm probably going to go yeah i will go here yeah Okay, survey wolf 359. And you're done there. Maybe we could try to get what we can. In fact, I might just branch out a little bit down there. So if we can get this and kind of come down here, we can still expand outwards before others grab it. And we have a construction ship, which is going to come down here and get ready to grab that for me. Colony ships can go straight to these planets. Oh, okay, a monastery and pajem. This is a kind of uh, a written in coded event. So you're going to want to always do this. So dispatch a cultural mission. Okay, it's going to, you know, solidify our relations with the Vulcans and stuff if you do all these types Long of things. Updated. So it is timed. So you're going to need to really rush this one. It gives you a thousand days and they are going down quite quick. So push the go to button, click back out the, sy back out the system and you'll see that it's there. So we're going to want a science ship for that. Construction complete. Uh, you're the nearest one, so it depends on how long we have. It is going rather quick, actually. We are on fast. So let's just get down there and research Technology the project. Discovered. More traditions. So we do want to go for the survey speed because that's going to help us get those systems a lot quicker. And we have some technology. The leader costs now. That's handy. Diplomacy or slavery. We got that one before. We want to go for the diplomacy. First contact, and we want to send an envoy out. In fact, every now and again, if you're getting a bit behind, just check in your situation log to see if there's any more aliens that you need to find. Uh, we have an event here as well, actually. We can go to that. That's up there, but we'll do that shortly. We won't do that right now. Initiate we'll come back to that. Who's this? The inevitable they want to guarantee our independence. We, they already did that, so we do that again. Anomaly detected. Okay, this is getting a little bit crazy. Um, where is this? 
It's down there. That's okay. You can research that. I need... Uh, Andor seizes the former colony. In a bold move, the Imperial Guard have laid siege to the Vulcan world. Oh, see, they're going to have some bad relations for a while. Um, this is from Vulcan. Do we agree to help them? Or do we not? I'm probably going to... Help, if I'm honest. Long update. We like to help. There's a bit of research done. The light cruiser. I think I'm going to go for that. Uh, time project. Ceasefire. Let's go to that. Where is that? That's over there. Oh, this is this is madness. 23 days. Finishes in 23 days, and then we can pop down there. Is that right? Yeah. Maybe we can do this quick. Special project. Right, investigate complete. further. Understood. You are now available. So let's get down here quickly and Survey research that project. Complete. How much time do we have for that? 300 days. We should get there in time. Survey has been complete. That's there. That's great. So we already have a construction ship. So as long as we can kind of meet up here, it will be fine. Um, I'll be happy with that because then we've got a connection from here to our own planet up here. So we have this now. So we could, if you click on the planets, you see the green means they are available to uh, become colonized. So if you click on them, you can see the 16. Well, in fact, if you just go into the system, it might be a bit easier. Click on this one. You've got 16. You could click on this one. You've got 12, which is the and its size and this one which is 12 so i like to go for the one with the most first oh there's an extra one in here as well there's four in this one wow got lucky with this um this this drop of the galaxy uh this random gen it's really good four and there's one here we can observe uh but this one anyway we want to push colonize and you can pick who it is that you want to go onto those planets i would go for the vulcans here because obviously they have an 80 percent um effect on the colonizing which means that they're going to live a lot better on that planet and the reason we have other um empires there is because we got the migration trees and stuff with them so we can use them which is great night ship you're not doing a lot where are you you're there so pop over here then and survey that construction ship you're done there maybe i'm going to want you to come down here no actually go and get bernard star we're lacking alloys, but that will build up by the time we get there, so that's fine. We're going to want to save those alloys actually for um, down here. We can grab that, that would be great. Time project, yes, that's right. We have made it there. We have plenty of time left, and it's about to do it. Special project. Complete. So Andoria has the original claim. The risk to Vulcan is too high. Well, you know, it's up to you, but I generally go by law if you know what the law is. Um, the Andorians were the first species to colonize and own the planet. However, location on Vulcan's doorstep makes this a strategically important world. But the risk is too great for Vulcan. But you can pick anyone you want. So I'm literally going to randomize it. Um, and we're going to go for, in this playthrough, we're going to go for that Andoria has the original claim. And just see what happens. You can pick something completely different. We can demilitarize it, but you know, you're going to lose relations with the Vulcans here, but you're going to gain ones with the Andorians. But I tell you as well, as long as you've got three of the founding members, which includes you, so you, the Tellarites, and one of the others, for example, you will form the Federation. So you don't actually have to be friendly with them all. Um, so just, yeah, demilitarize it. That's not really what happened, but understand. It's, you can do which, you know, you can make this go whichever way you want. Um, okay, so you're done there. And uh, now let's get over to planet nearby. Let's go there because we want to try to take what we can there. Right, let's get over here quickly and build that star base. Technology discovered. Uh, adaptive um, language translator, please. Discovered. Initiating regional capital or the Heritage Museum. I'll go with the regional capital. That's always a good one. Uh, Maxwell Forest has become available and we have the a coalition proposal. So, you know, this is good. This is from the, Vul the Vulcans. 
So if they want to go into a coalition, I would strongly agree to that, and I think we will. We will stand so we have a coalition now. And within that coalition, if you are attacked, then, you know, you're going to be backed up by someone a lot stronger than you. So definitely worth doing it. And if you do have a spare envoy, pop one in here as well, because it's going to help with the cohesion, which is going to level you up. And you get lots of different bonuses from all these levels here, as you can see. They're pretty awesome. So get one of those in there, just slowly building away. Right, so we have Maxwell Forrest. Is that right? Yeah, Maxwell Forrest is a leader. Let's have a look at him. I think he's here. Wow, that is a really, really good governor. Three traits there, so let's recruit him. And in fact, governors are something we're going to want, so let's create a new sector. Um, it's called Earth there, and we want to put our governor on there. Okay, so then you would go to your planets and sectors, and you would assign the leader here. Grab this one, for example and push play and it will sort itself out up here Initiating so mars needs some more cities it's got some overcrowding so let's build one of those we did do that earlier but uh, i forgot to do it now so it will give you this little symbol here which means overcrowding discovered. so we have an incoming transmission here and we've met somebody for the first time so we are delighted to meet you that's basically what we want to do as you can see it's like a traffic light system Green means you're going to be nice, you're going to be kind of like neutral, and this is like, we're not going to be your friends, so it will deter some relations, if you know what I mean. But this will add relations, so we're going to go with that one. Um, yeah, so happy days. So what are these guys? We want to offer um, association status with the Tellarites, so yes, we do. We want to try to get them involved in our coalition. Survey complete. So let's get that going. Let's just get rid of some of these up here. Survey First contact, complete. let's get you going for that. And we have some research. Uh, let's go for the, orb the optical detected. computer there. Anomaly, let's do that. Um, you're done here. So we have the event from the Monastery of Bajem. So I'm just going to push understand that because I want you guys to do that yourselves. Read that to have a look in An your game. The Empire is making contact. Tellarites have joined the coalition. So we want to go down here a minute and build that star base. So I've got that outlet there to this to this lost colony. Um, promising we have um, a new major. So Major uh, Joss Hayes. So that's going to be our general. Coalition. So let's check our coalition. Uh, the Zenkefi want to establish an embassy. We have met them. They are there. So they're bordering the Tellarites. We've also met the Denoblians because whoever your members are have met okay and then they join the coalition then you have met them they share all information with you so now in our coalition we have the three main members needed to join the federation so you just kind of play the waiting game now guys and you just just keep playing until the federation forms and you just keep following the steps so we're in a pretty nice coalition as you can see if we get attacked we're pretty safe because these guys are quite powerful compared to us anyway Federation is losing experience, so you could always put in another envoy if you have a spare one. So you could just put two in there if you wanted to, to really try and ramp up that cohesion. So yeah, I think colony. that will probably be it for this episode, guys. Uh, we've got Inner Light. Now, we'll do this quickly. We all know what Inner Light is about. It's a great, great episode. Um, one of my favourites. I think it's a lot of people's favourites. It, it just... It touched a lot of people's hearts, basically. It was it was just incredible. What a journey that the captain had, you know, Picard, in that episode. He lived a whole lifetime in the matter of minutes. So we're going to do that for our captain. And it's going to be Captain Jonathan Archer who's going to be experiencing the exact same thing. All right, so we're going to do shields up. That's what they do in the show. Um, tactical is correct, so let's raise the shields because... They're convinced that's what you got to do, so go for that. And now they're going to be saying, look, you know, we've got to cut off the beam here because it's going to go mental if we don't. So we do, we lower the shields, okay? We strongly advise that they're lowered, and we do that. And then we could just continue to monitor the captain. Never fire your phasers. And now we understood. We get that nice flute noise, and you end up with 15 hundred experience points a relic which is the flute um 
Jonathan Archer's gains the second life trait. Which is unbelievable. So let's have a look at him now. Um, is that you? No, where are you? Where's Jonathan Archer? There he is. He's already a level 5, guys. So, yeah. He is really, really done well. Leader experience gain plus 75% on the second life. That is what you call a seriously good Jonathan Archer. So, with that said, I hope you have enjoyed this somewhat tutorial first look at the new patch. And um, I hope it helps you out. I hope it helps you join this great community and I hope that it makes you want to play the game. Download this game and play it at least. Or if you have downloaded it, get on it and play it, guys. It's really, really fun. So if you want me to continue this playthrough, then please do say in the comments, give it a thumbs up and uh, do all that jazz. If not, then uh, we can move on to something different. I am also playing the Stellaris base game. We have a really good playthrough going on. If you're interested in Terminator, the Terminator universe at all, then I'm playing as Skynet and we have defeated Earth and we have moved on from our planet and we are trying to exterminate all living things <laughs> that that are in the galaxy. It's great and it, we're doing really, really well. So um, come and join me on that one. Um, but yes, hope you enjoyed this one, guys. And uh, do please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I shall see you in the next video. Take care. And bye-bye for now. Make it so.